My name is Alon. I'm a customer experience specialist here at Gotenna, and today we're going to go over ATAC and supported features with the Gotenna plugin. Before you get started, you're going to want to make sure that you have the compatible version of the Gotenna plugin in relation to the version of ATAC that you're running. So we can check our ATAC version by going into settings. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see about. And here you can see that we're running on ATAC version 4.2.1. So that means we're going to want the 4.2.1 ATAC plugin. Going back to our settings, we can click on TAC package management and we can see our downloaded plugins. And clicking on our Gotenna plugin, I can see that I have Gotenna ATAC plugin version 1.4.0 for the 4.2.1 version of ATAC. If you have any prior versions of the Gotenna ATAC plugin, we do strongly recommend that you delete all of those plugin versions as they might interfere with this one as you're running ATAC and you could have some unexpected issues come up. So let's get started with our Gotenna plugin. Clicking on the plugin, you're gonna be brought to this welcome screen. I can click on Get Started, choose my device, and I'm clicking on the Gotenna Pro X device. There's two ways to get into the plugin. The first one would be to sign in using your organization name, which was created by your admin, and the email and password that you've created. Another way to do it is deploying offline. So if we just scroll down here, we see this option. We can click Setup, and we have the option to either acquire the frequency set through, the go, through a GoKit hotspot via Wi-Fi. We can also scan the frequency set tuning using a QR code, or we can manually enter in the frequency set. So let's go back. The quickest way to get started is actually to do it with the account that your admin has created for you. So we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna type in my organization name. I'll type in either my email or username and then I'm going to type in the password that I've created. You're going to find the terms of use, which you can read through. And then we're prompted to pair our GoTenna Pro X device. We strongly suggest that you do this one at a time, as your phone might pair with the first Bluetooth device that it finds, and you could end up pairing to the wrong device. So let's click Next. I'm going to then turn on my GoTenna Pro X. It's going to start blinking, indicating that it wants to pair. All right, it says pairing was successful. And now we've made that connection between the hardware and the software. So you can just click test again to make sure that you've paired to the right device and your radio should flash, indicating that it's paired. I'm going to click next. And now I'm going to find the frequency set that my admin has created for me. So here's the frequency set. I'm going to click tune and finish. And now that's going to tune the radio to that frequency set. So the first thing that you're going to see here is some information about the ATAC capabilities that the GoTenna plugin supports. So we can read through this. We have our offline configuration, which I showed you. That's a way to configure your frequency set if you're offline or if you don't have access to an account. We could share geofences. You can also receive mission packs from your GoKit. We do support tactical chat as well. Group messaging is not currently supported, but we do support one-to-one -one chat and all channels. You have an auto location sharing feature as well. So you can share your location in different time intervals or based on your location changing. We do support point droppers as well. So COT 2525B symbols are currently fully supported. We do support some drawing tools. So we support polylines with up to eight points. We do also support routes up to eight points. We support Casavac and titles are going to be limited to 25 characters. We do also have nine line close air support supported, which supports one weapon and 25 characters. You have the option to either connect to your Gotenna via USB or through your Bluetooth connection which is the more popular way to do it. So we're going to click done over there and we're looking at the Gotenna plugin now. 
So just to give you an overview, you're going to see that your GoTenna Pro X is connected. Under that, you'll see your battery life, and then you'll see your antenna quality. That's going to give you an indication of how well the antenna is screwed in, whether your antenna is in good condition, and if there's anything blocking the antenna at the moment. So to get a new antenna quality reading, we could always just do our manual position update. It's going to send out a transmission, and we're automatically going to see what our antenna quality is. So clicking on this information icon, I'm going to get a decibel reading of the antenna quality. It's at 14 decibels, and that's giving me an excellent reading. Scrolling down here, we have the option for automatic position updates. And I can do this either based on frequency or based on distance. With frequency, I have these different time interval options. So here on top, I have 60 seconds, and that goes all the way down to 300 seconds or 5 minutes. And then I have these quick PLIs on the bottom. So I have 5 second updates and 15 second updates. The reason that those are highlighted in red is because with the more frequent transmissions, we're going to be able to support less people on our network at a time. So that's something for the admin to decide for each user and something you'll want to think about before you deploy. An alternative to the frequency is distance. So we can update the network of our new location every time we move, either 25 meters or up to 500 meters. We do also have the option to encrypt our data. So we can create an encryption key, and that's going to allow us to encrypt all of our messages that are sent. And then other people on our network are going to need to acquire those encryption keys from us as well. And they'll use those encryption keys to receive the information that we're sending them. As an admin or a service user, I have the option to go into my radio frequency settings. So I can go into here. I can change the power level, the bandwidth, and I could also look at and change the control channels and data channels. And then I will have the option to create a QR code or send over the air. So I can send this via broadcast and other people on my network will be able to receive this updated frequency set. Looking at our device settings, we have the option to toggle LED. We have listen only mode, which we can turn on or off and relay mode, which we can turn on or off. We do also have a built-in spectrum analyzer. So we're using UHF currently. We're going to scan on the UHF band. And as you can see, I'm getting an RSSI scan of the noise in my network. And I'm also seeing my control channels here in yellow. And in magenta, I have my data channels. We do have a couple diagnostic tools. So we have our location update history, which on the y-axis is going to show each user in our network. And on the x-axis, it's going to show us the locations and when they were updated. Below that, I have diagnostic logs, which are going to give me detailed information of all the messages that were sent on my network, along with the coordinates for each node. So focusing back on our map, you can see that I have my location over here, which is being updated via my phone's GPS. And then I have a couple of shapes and routes that I've created as well. So let's click on this COT 2525B point. And it's not shared with my network yet. I've just created it, and it's appearing on my map. In order to share it with my network, I'm actually going to have to click on it. Click on this clipboard. And then I can click on the Send button here on the bottom. And I have the option either to broadcast it, and that's going to share it with everybody that's on my frequency set. Or I can select a particular contact and share it just with that person. That was a brief overview of ATAC and GoTenna supported features. If you have any questions in the future, you can always reach out to prosupport at gotenna.com.